tickle me. We won't tickle you like this anymore. Looking at three-year-old James now, it's hard to believe this was James last August. He was on a breathing machine, keeping him alive, uh, almost lost him a couple of times. James was diagnosed with a rare form of leukemia called JMML. It's only about 25 to 50 um, instances per year in the U.S. With JMML, there is no other option other than stem cell transplant. Thankfully, a perfect match was found, and the transplant took place last year on December 6th, what the McCarthy's now call James Rebirthday. Get a whole new immune system, and he actually has someone else's blood flowing through his body. Getting healthy again wasn't easy. He needed so much blood throughout this, you know, over 100 blood blood transfusions. That's why the McCarthy's are celebrating James Rebirthday okay. next oh, okay. month with a blood drive. And it's two days. Two different churches. Holly Cease with Vitalin, the blood collection organization, says the timing couldn't be better. Donations drop this time of year. It's historically very low from this week of Thanksgiving all the way through the new year. Making James Re birthday celebration even more special. The McCarthy's wow. just got the name of his stem cell donor, and he's going to come in for the blood drive. We can't wait to meet him and just give him a hug and just and have him in. Meet James. Oh, thank you. I love you. Who is now cancer free? So he's doing really great. We're we're having all the all the problems you want to have, like potty training and um, being polite. James says this polite request. We come to the blood drive. On the north side, Lauren Petty, NBC Five News. We hope everybody will come to James' blood drive. That's